Hello, it's Mark from Lightmap, and let's take a look at the new diffusion blur in Xenon Drop 2. So we've got this HDRI map loaded, and we want to use the new diffusion. Uh, we haven't really got any settings we can apply um, to this light because we have to put the light into a composite before we can use the new filter. So let's right click, merge the composite. Now that the HDRI map is within this composite, we can see on the settings for this composite light, we've got a new section called filter and the first filter we're releasing is diffusion. So let's click on this and straight away our HDRI map has been diffused, it's been blurred. So let's look at the settings we've got here. We've got the type, so we can have spherical, which takes into account that it's a lat long map and it will be mapped onto a sphere. So this is the setting you need for a HDRI map. We also have planar. You'd use this if this was content that was on an area light. But in this context, let's put this back to spherical. So then we've got a percentage setting. If this goes all the way to zero, there's no blur at all. And then if we increase this, it gets more and more diffuse. You'll notice as I change uh, the value that the image remains uh, at a constant brightness. It's not like blurring it makes it darker or lighter because this algorithm is energy conserving. So as you change this blur, the image has a constant brightness. And if we take this all the way up to 100%, effectively you're spreading all that light energy out uh, consistently and you just end up with a single color across the whole HDRI map. So obviously lower values are going to be more appropriate. Okay, so that's the blurring of this single HDRI map. And the great thing is we can use that as a base and we can put extra lights on top of this. So if we just pick some studio lights and we drag those and put them on top of this lighting design, we can take that one, say. Uh, the beauty is that these are uh, not blurred because they're on top of this blurred content, which is at the base and we can turn down the brightness of that at the base. So we can apply the blur only to the bits that we want to be blurred, which is great. So let's take those lights and delete them. And we're blurring this whole HDRI map. But what if we wanted to add some extra content into this HDRI map? So let's say, let's take a light here and go and add that to there and add a light over here and add that there and let's give this some color so we can identify it a bit more easily. So when we're within the composite and we're editing it, what we see is the non diffuse version of it. But you'll see in our shot that it is the, the diffuse, the blurred version, which is lighting the shot. And that's because we're editing the composite. And if we go up a level, we can then see the output, which is uh, the blurred, the diffuse version of this. And this, at this base level, looking at the light list, this is what is actually lighting the shot. So the great thing about um, being able to apply this to a composite is that everything within that composite is actually getting blurred. So if we get rid of this hotel room and we just have these um, sharp light sources in here and then we and then duplicate that light, you can see these um, crisp edged light sources actually are all being 
blurred by this because they're within the composite and it's this composite that is having the diffusion filter applied to it which makes it really powerful because you can uh, create a nice lovely diffuse and, and kind of soft lighting design and literally control how hard or how soft those lights are by using this um, diffusion percentage. Okay, so let's look at another example where what if we want to affect only one area on a HDRI map? So a good example will be an outdoor environment with a, a hard, harsh sun. We can see here with this very small light source, we've got very hard, crisp reflections and very hard shadows. So to soften the lighting, uh, a photographer would use a diffuser and would place that between the sun and the subject and it would spread out the light and it would soften it. So we can replicate that effect using the HDR Light Studio now. So with this um, HDR IMAP selected, let's duplicate it. And this will be our base that will be unaltered. And then we want to use this one here to make our altered area for the sun, the diffuse area. So let's merge this to a composite. But what we need to do within this composite is mask the area we want to deal with. And we need to blur the HDRI map. So I'm going to put this into another composite. Okay, so now I'm going to take this one and add the diffusion. And at this point, I'm going to explain the accuracy setting. So at the minute, you'll see on this sun, there's always these little, it's, it's not as round as one would like. And this is because when you see a small bright light, it becomes more obvious the accuracy of the algorithm we use for the diffusion. So if I set this to low, you can see it looks a bit lumpy, which this setting is much faster. But if I want it to be accurate and set it to high, this is now nice and round, but it takes a bit longer to compute. Um, the medium setting is fine for most uses, but if you have a small bright light, I would change the accuracy of the diffusion to high. And then we can change how how diffuse that is. What we need to do now is mask this area. Um, and I'm going to create a light. And let's get a soft box and put that on there. And then we'll scale that up a bit. Okay, and we're going to use this to mask the area. So we're going to change the blend mode of this light to multiply. We're going to turn off, so I'm going to actually show HSVA so we can see the alpha. We're going to turn off preserve alpha. So you can see there's a bit of alpha now coming in, in here, but we want to turn on the mask feature, which then treats the area outside of the light as a mask. So now we have this light that is made from the blurred area of the HDRI map. And then this is what the composite light looks like. And if we go back, this is going over the top of our original HDRI map. Now this looks a bit brighter because we need to change the blend mode to over and not add. So now it's almost like we've got a diffuser that's got a black edge around it and then it's got fabric in the middle and this material is diffusing the sun. So if we look at our model here and we look at this here, if I change the percentage, if I go back to zero, that's hard shadows, hard highlights. And then if we increase this, we're spreading out the brightness of those pixels 
uh, we're, we've got the same amount of light energy we're just spreading it over a larger area and then this creates a more pleasing render with a nice softer shadow softer highlights and this is what's used in uh, outdoor portrait photography it creates a much more pleasing light for the subject and we can take this up till it's extremely extremely diffuse but let's say let's put it at kind of around here and if we go back to the top level you can see we've got our base HDR and then on top we've got our nice diffuse area now okay so that's just a, a, a brief tour of the new diffusion blur that you can find in Xenon Drop 2. Thank you for watching.